In a land where the red and green armies were constantly at odds, a great battle erupted in the midst of an apple orchard. The Red Army, led by General Ravi, fought valiantly against the Green Army, commanded by General Lee. Amidst the chaos of battle, a dragon appeared from the nearby woods, breathing fire and charging into the fray. In the midst of the battle, an immortal fighter wielding a magic bow that shot unlimited arrows also emerged. Together, they fought against the armies, with arrows flying and the dragon's flames lighting up the sky. Despite their fierce efforts, the Red Army began to falter. General Ravi was gravely wounded, and the soldiers started to lose morale. The Green Army, sensing their advantage, pressed their attack and seemed poised for victory. But then, a young Red soldier named Maya stepped forward, inspired by the bravery of the dragon and the immortal fighter. With a cry of determination, she charged forward, fighting fiercely and leading a charge that turned the tide of the battle. In the end, General Lee was defeated, and the Green Army was forced to retreat. General Ravi, though injured, was grateful to the dragon and the immortal fighter for their aid, and especially to Maya for her courage and leadership. The dragon, the immortal fighter, and Maya were hailed as heroes by the Red Army and the people of the kingdom. Their victory had brought a new era of peace and unity to the land, as both armies realized the futility of their endless fighting and sought to find a way to coexist peacefully. As for Maya, she had found her true calling as a fighter and leader, and was revered by all as a symbol of courage and hope for the future. However, the peace was short-lived. A faction of the Green Army refused to accept the defeat and launched a surprise attack on the Red Army, catching them off guard. In the ensuing battle, the dragon was gravely wounded, and the immortal fighter was captured. Maya, now a seasoned warrior, took charge of the Red Army and rallied them to fight back. They launched a counterattack and drove the Green Army back, but not before suffering heavy casualties. As they regrouped, Maya realized that they needed to take a different approach. She remembered the dragon's wisdom and decided to seek out a peaceful solution. She ventured into the woods to find the dragon, who was on the brink of death. With tears in her eyes, Maya begged the dragon to tell her how to end the conflict once and for all. The dragon, weak but wise, imparted to her the secret of the magic bow and how it could be used to bring about a lasting peace. Maya returned to the Red Army, more determined than ever to end the fighting. She used the magic bow to shoot arrows of peace, which, instead of harming, had the power to heal and bring the two armies together. Slowly but surely, the Green Army saw the error of their ways and joined forces with the Red Army. The dragon, now fully recovered, flew overhead, signifying that the conflict was finally over. In the end, Maya, the dragon, and the immortal fighter stood on a hill overlooking the apple orchard, watching as the two armies marched together in a parade of unity and peace. They had achieved what seemed impossible, bringing two warring armies together and creating a future of harmony for their people. 